Micah is probably the um, most amazing kid that I know. He's a young kid who has neuroblastoma, um, and he's been fighting it basically since he was born. He was like two years or three years into his life. Um, he's had cancer pretty much the whole time, and um, just an amazing kid, an amazing part of this program. He might be one of the toughest people I know in general, let alone the toughest seven-year-old. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers, and Micah is one of the strongest little soldiers I've ever met. He and his family joined our program in the fall of 2013. Every day since, every hour, every minute, uh, he's, he is a true horn frog. He's been just as big a part of the team as anybody who takes the mound or plays shortstop for us, and I'm just so blessed to be able to call him a friend and a buddy and a teammate, and he means everything to all of us. You understand what he's walking through, but then you also see the perspective that he has and the attitude that he has and the way in which he goes about his treatments and his battle with cancer. And what it does is for us as a team, whether things are going good or whether things are not going good, we have the same mentality. We're able to shrink that down and we're able to fight um, a lot harder than I think we would be without him. We love and miss you and we did it for you. You're our superhero and we're never gonna give up. Neither should you. Go Frogs, we love and miss you, buddy. Yeah! Micah has, uh, without question, touched the hearts of our players, uh, our staff, our fans, our, our student body. Uh, he, he's truly a part of, of everything that we do. He's fought like crazy and he's had some really great moments and he's had a lot of really tough moments. His motto is never ever give up and we're not gonna do that. We've been on our knees in prayer every day. Uh, since we met him and we're going to continue to do so. He did an experimental treatment in proton radiation. I don't know a whole lot about it, um, but I do know that they didn't know what would happen. That's why it's experimental and uh, it didn't work. The, uh, the tumors are still there. I think they got a little bit bigger. There was no effect and they're at the point now where um, they're choosing not to do treatment. He's fought so hard for so long and they've kind of run out of options. You know, they're preparing him for hospice care, and um, there is no timetable. As of right now, he's a normal kid, just trying to make these days count, you know? We wouldn't be in Omaha without the influence that Mike has had on us. Never ever give up, go Frogs! We've decided that if he's never ever gonna give up in his fight, then we're never gonna give up in ours. I know that Micah really appreciates the guys on this team, but I can't tell you how much he means to this team and just how much uh, he has motivated us, not just to be better baseball players, but better men. Baseball will come to an end at some point, uh, but for the remainder of our lives, his impact, um, it'll be seen. He's always gonna be a horned frog. We're not gonna let anybody else have him. We love him too much. I'm sure he's watching at home, and uh, we just wanna say hello and, and keep, keep cheering on your frogs, buddy. That patch, it's with me always. Whether in body or spirit, uh, he's with us always. And we are better because of him, and we love him very much.